Okay, this is the latest addition to our RV. We got a countertop ice maker. Uh, I know before you say it, we are glampers. We enjoy frozen drinks. So, we decided to try this out. We went with the Magic Chef, and I'll explain why uh, as soon as I unbox it. Okay, all unboxed. Now, if you've ever shopped for any of these tabletop ice makers, uh, they virtually seem to be made by all the same company and with a different logo on it and the control boards tend to be in different spots. But there are three reasons we went with the Magic Chef. One, the price. It was one of the lower priced units. Uh, they're anywhere from $95 to literally $295 and the units were almost identical. Two, we went with this one because it is the smallest footprint of anything we could find out there. It's actually three inches less, uh, three inches less wide than all the other units. Uh, so it's only nine and a half inches wide. It still claims to make 27 pounds of ice in 24 hours, which is about the standard for all of them. They all claim to make between 26 and 27 pounds of ice per 24 hours. And the third reason was on a lot of them you'll see a drain plug usually right on the side here and it sticks out like almost an inch on the magic chef the drain plug if i could do this with one hand is underneath hidden away so that is the three reasons we picked this unit it's like any other unit uh Got an add water light, an ice full light, power light. It tells you what's selected, small or large ice cubes, an on off button, and a select button lets you select what ice cubes. Inside it comes with a basket and a scoop. And if you could see back, back there, that's the prongs that uh, the water tray sits in and refrigerants run through them and that makes the ice so i'm going to clean this up put some water in it and we'll test it out okay i have it set up on the counter i cleaned it all out and that drain plug was actually great being underneath because you could fill it up with water i held it right over the sink open a drain plug it drains right out we've got some water here i'm going to fill it up and if you can look in there, there's a max line. I don't know if you could see it. It's right there. I'll fill that up. All right. I'll plug it in. Okay. Plugged in. Now let's get you so you can see that. Okay, I'm gonna power lights blinking. I'm gonna turn it on. Power lights on. And right now it's selected to large ice cube. I'm gonna select it to small, small. And it's already working. I don't know if this will work with the window up. We can take a look at what it's doing. Filling a tray back there with water. And it's going to uh, run refrigerant through those prongs and hopefully make ice. I'm going to close it. We'll be back in. It's, it claims eight minutes, so we will uh, check back in eight minutes. I just wanted you to hear. It's actually a pretty quiet unit. There's a fan on the side. And it's actually whisper quiet. You don't hear any loud compressor or anything in there while it's making the ice. It's been going for about two minutes. We'll see how it makes out. Okay, it's just about done. 
course the ice. And that actually was seven minutes. As you notice, I had to grab my camera pretty quick. And the machine scoops it up, puts it in the bucket. And now it's refilling with water to make a second batch. Now it claims, uh, now these are the smaller cubes. So that took seven minutes, exactly. I was timing it. Um, it's the ice cube, it's like a bullet. It's got a hole in it. This will work till the tray fills up. It's got a sensor on it that will stop making ice when the sensor reads that the tray is full. It'll also, again, tell you when you need to add water if you're low on water. It's actually pretty quiet. It did make the ice in seven minutes. Uh, again, we went with this one. If you saw it in person, most of them are 12 inches wide and this one is nine and a half and like I said if you see it in person it's a huge difference and if you're fighting for counter space or storage space this is this is definitely the one you want to get and it doesn't have that side drain plug the drain plugs underneath so that drain plug on the larger ones some of them they stick out literally an inch so that's another inch on top of it and uh, like I said, I think they're all made by the same company. They all look similar with different names on it. You can pay anywhere from $95 to $250. They all claim to make the same amount of ice, 26 to 27 pounds of ice per day. Uh, but we'll give this a try. Again, it's the Magic Chef. I'll leave a link to it below if you're interested in it. And as always, thanks for watching.